Hello guys, um, my voice always gets weird. <clears throat> Hi guys, welcome to another video. Today I am going to attempt to film me doing my gel nails at home. Um, if you guys don't watch my vlog, it was the first time you're seeing my face. I have been doing my own gel manicures since like the end of 2020. So almost a year now and I feel like it has been a lot of trial and error and I feel like I have a couple tips that have improved the quality and longevity of my gels. Today we're gonna be doing something a little different. I'm actually going to be doing um, like gel X extensions. If you guys don't know what that is, pretty much gel press on tips, full tips that you can use. I normally like natural nails. I like my nails um, like natural, medium, almond shape. I have never done square long nails in my life, but if you guys watched my last vlog, I had to chop off all of my nails, sadly. I will put links down below to the people in the videos that have helped me kind of get tips and tricks on how to do these. Um, but yeah, we're just gonna get into her. These are Opre Gel X tips. They're just a case. Um, I have them, 500 pieces. Wow, there's so many. But they have them in different sizes and shapes. I got the natural square long because that's what my sister wanted. So we're going to use that. Turn open this. They come like this. They come in sizes, and you just pretty much have to pick the size that best fits each fingernail. These do come in full kits that have the gel that you need to apply them on your nails and we'll also have a baby lamp so you can guys can get kind of an all-in-one set some even come with colors i just needed the nail tips themselves because i already have everything else that i need but yeah we're gonna start by picking the right tip for each fingernail um you don't want the tip to be too small or too big you really need it to fit right i've already done that i've picked all of my nails we're just gonna get started it's so weird like recording but like not seeing my face and just like talking about whatever. Um, the main things I think I've paid attention to that have really improved the longevity of my nails have been filing techniques, cleansing, and then the products you use. So we're gonna start off with filing. Um, to save some time, I've kind of done this, but I usually begin by like pushing my nails back. I'll like rinse my hands under warm water and push them back with a cuticle pusher, which I have already done on all of my nails. And then if you need to clip your cuticles, use a cuticle trimmer, which I've also done. And then when it starts to filing. Um, so the different type of filers I have here are like these little block ones that are kind of more of a finer file. And then I have like a medium grit file and then a really coarse one. Um, I like to start with like a small block file like these because they kind of get into the corners of your nails um, better, like closer to the cuticle without like hurting your cuticle. So I've already done that on all my nails. And then I'll shape with like a medium grit, which I've also done on all my nails. Um, and then lastly, a coarse grit. So number one tip I would say that's really, really helped me with my nails sticking and is even something I like pay attention to that nail technicians don't do, which is why I feel like gel lifts, is making sure that your nail is not perfectly smooth you want your nail to have like grit and texture to it so that way gel really sticks um to your nail so you want to use a coarser filer at the end to really make sure that your nail has that like texture to it so that way the gel product sticks you don't have to do this when you use regular nail polish but all gel polish really needs something to adhere to so i always do this last and just make sure that my nail has that kind of texture to it. So I'm gonna go ahead and do this on all my nails. So I've done it to all my nails. The other thing that needs filing if you guys are doing the gel tips is to file the actual inside of the tip. Um, so the tips you know, come all perfect looking like that, but you want to just file the back of them to just get some texture in there so that way it better adheres as well you don't have to do the whole tip you just need to do kind of the bottom half um, if you have a drill bit which i do not have i want to upgrade my at home nail life to having a drill bit but i also think it's helpful if you're just starting out like me um, and don't want to you know don't, don't have all those tools accessible to you um, I really thought it was going to be hard, but it really isn't, to just scratch them up with a nail file. So this is a standard size coarse nail file. And I just think the best thing to do, and I've done this on the big nails and the small nails, is to just like get in there on one on half of it 
and just like slide it back and forth like that. And it's enough to like get that all scratched up. So after we're all filed and ready to go, the next crucial step is how you cleanse your nails. So I clearly have like nail dust all over me here. Um, I avoid washing my hands at this point because a lot of our, our hand soaps have oils in them and what you really need is these nails to be as dehydrated, which sounds awful for the health of your nails, <laughs> but as possible in order for the products to really stick and stay. So you can cleanse all of this powder off with a cleanser, or I just use 100% alcohol, or actually this is 70% alcohol. Um, and I have used this and that is perfectly fine. If you don't have a cleanser and I mean getting alcohol in any drugstore is a lot easier so you just want to alcohol clean all of that nail dust off to really make sure that there is no product there's no oils that are getting stuck on your nail and will definitely cause product to lift over time so we're doing that on all of our nails the last crucial step that i think has helped me understand gel better is the products that you're using so all right some of them are prep products two of those prep products is a ph bond and pro Bond. these are both by gelish um i think these all come in a kit too where they have these and your base and top coats, so it's kind of an easy find online. I'll also link below some websites that I found that are accessible for a lot of people to purchase products. So pH Bond is a dehydrator, so any dehydrator will work, but this is just good to get on your nails to make sure that they are fully dehydrated and there's no product in them. For a while before I had this product, I was just using alcohol and I think if you don't have anything, just using alcohol and really making sure there's no oils on your hand is fine. But if you can upgrade to a dehydrator, I would really recommend one. And then ProBond is a nail primer. Um, the bottle does say to avoid it on your cuticles or skin. So to me, that just means that like it's a real, you know, chemical. So this you have to be careful with. You just want this on your nail. So I just get it on your nail and I don't even go all the way down to my cuticle but I have found that using this has really helped with product not sticking then I go in with a foundation this is also gelish um, gelish I found is like one of the easiest brands that's like most accessible to most people um, so I'm using the foundation and this is kind of like a base coat in regular nail polish lingo And I just do a thin layer, trying to avoid the cuticles. I added the color, the base coat, and then I only have a bigger one. Um, I popped in here for 30 seconds. I'm not really good at how many seconds you're supposed to have your nails in both, but this one comes with a 30 second and it's in a 60 second. So we did the 30 second one. This is kind of in between a hard gel and a soft gel. I like it because it has a little flexibility to it, um, but that's all you kind of need to apply the tips. But again, if you get these kits, they come with their own gels, but it's a soft gel. So all you need to do to get them on, it's gonna be tricky doing it on myself now that I'm realizing. Um, we'll start with a baby. You're just gonna need a brush. You want to scoop up some gel. I don't know if you guys can see that. And just get it on the bottom. You want to use like enough so you have enough product, but not too much where it all spills out the edge. You're going to have to figure out for yourself what that happy little medium is. Um, and then you want to push this into your cuticle like this. Now, this is going to be hard to do, but I got to hold this and cure it. I only have a big light, so we're just going to use our big light 
and make sure to get our fingers as close to that gel, as close to the light as possible. So that way it sticks and it cures. We are going to do that to all of our nails. Whew, that was definitely way harder than I thought. Um, Cause you kind of have to hold your finger down as it cures, which is tricky to do plus hold the light. So yeah, crazy, but I got them all on. I'm gonna cure the whole hand for 30 more seconds to make sure they're really set and then we'll move on. They are all on, this is a crazy length. Um, so if you want to keep this length and you don't need to cut them, you can just go ahead and file these. You just wanna file them to again, rough up the smooth gel tips so product adheres better to them. Um, I'm also going to cut them because these are just too long for me. These are not a working length. My mom used a word today as she was describing them. I don't remember. We are back and all of our nails are filed and shaped. Um, of course, if you didn't need to change the length of these, you wouldn't have to do that. Um, well, you wouldn't have to cut them, but you will still have to file the top of them. And then I just wipe them clean with some more alcohol to get all that extra nail dust off. And we are gonna finally get into polishing. I am going to attempt to do a French manicure on this. So I have my white, I have a little bit of alcohol to clean my brush if I do any messes. Where's my other fancy brush? My other fancy brush has thin little tips and we're gonna use those to paint on a French. I'm gonna cure one nail at a time as I do it so I don't mess up my nails and smudge them. Alrighty, now I'm going to use my Gelish Top It Off. This is like a clear top coat. Um, I could just do a couple coats of this and call it a day, but um, I think I'm just gonna do one coat because I didn't really do a base color and then see about doing any designs if I'm feeling a little extra. She's cute, we could stop there, but I think I need more. Um, I like my nails to entertain me, and I feel like I'm gonna get bored of this. So, let's see. I think I'm gonna do, because I don't, I have limited products. I have some more white, but it's like an art gel, so it's a little bit thicker and easier to work with. And I've got some purple glitter, and I'm gonna try and do like these dot flowers. I've seen on Pinterest. So I'm just getting some of the top coat into some foil. There we go. And I'm gonna mix in some glitter. Mix that together. We're gonna do some dots. All right. Let's start with a glitter dot for the center. We'll do one, two, three, 
All right. I'm going to cure that really quickly so that doesn't move. The white. Then we're gonna grab some of this white and make little dots all around. You guys see that? I'm not mad at that. It's kind of cute. All right, well, I'm gonna do this all over um, and then do a couple layers of top coat. I'm gonna do the other hand and I will get back to you. We are done. I am so excited to have nails again. We are going to put some cuticle oil on these nails. Okay, we are done. Um, this honestly took longer than I thought it would. I think it would be easier if I had a smaller lamp because doing them on yourself and kind of holding them down as you cured is a little tricky. Um, also, if I didn't have to like cut them down, like if I kept them the original length or just buy the, the nail length that you want. But still, I'm happy to have nails. It's so weird. I've never had like long square nails before, so I'm gonna try and get used to it. Um, that's Pyro. Um, other than that, thank you guys for watching. Pyro says thank you, and we will see you in the next video. <laughs>